Now, when I first shared this with people, they said, well, that's the way it used to be. But now we're entering a new era. We're entering the era of the entrepreneur because it costs less to launch a company. And there's a lot of evidence that would support this. Here on the right-hand side, you see a graph of after a company becomes on the S&P 500 list, how long it will sustain on that list. It used to be that they sustained for 60 years. Now they only last 15 years. Large companies are dying earlier and they're dying more quickly. So that might lead you to think, well, that was the old. Now the new is the future of the entrepreneur. So let's look at the data on the entrepreneur. And again, I have nothing against entrepreneurs. I am an entrepreneur. I love entrepreneurs. But the answer is that it is not about a big versus small. There's something else going on. Entrepreneurship is declining. In the United States, since this is true for many markets, the, this should be actually uh, fewer entrepreneurs on the right. 250 startups per 100,000 people in 19, whatever that is, 97. And today it's less than 150. So fewer entrepreneurs per capita. Who's employing people? The red line is the number of people who are employed by large companies with 250 or more employees. The blue line is the number of people that are um, employed by small companies with 249 or fewer employees. Look at the market share. More people are working for large companies than smaller companies. So it's not a question of big versus small. There's something else going on. Both large companies and small companies are struggling. What is happening is acceleration. Tesla Motors, which makes an electric car. They had to conduct a recall because their cars were driving too short, too, too close to the, to the ground when they were on the highway and they would hit some debris and it would damage the bottom of the car and the government said you have to recall your cars. What most car companies would do is spend tens of millions of dollars and spend a year sending letters out to customers, asking them to go into the garage to have it repaired and then taken back to, for them. What did Tesla do? They wrote, an update, they wrote an update to their program and they beamed it down by satellite to all the cars. So now the cars are elevated by half an inch more when it's on the highway than before. Instead of tens of millions of dollars, this cost thousands of dollars. In tens of, instead of a year, this, talk, this took maybe a couple minutes. What we're seeing is acceleration because what people are selling is becoming digital, not physical. 